Hey, what's up? Nick Frosty here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on with our member system. Uh, so we have completed the login, the logout, and the registration. Uh, so obviously, the next thing to get to is the email activation. Um, so how this is going to work is the page is just going to have a real simple form where you enter in your username and your activation code, click a button, activate your account. Pretty simple. Um, but if you recall from the register video, we've gone ahead and sent the user uh, a specific activation link. So we need to be able to get those uh, variables and that data from the URL and then display that in the form. Then they can just click the button because it'll autofill. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're inside just a simple activate.php file here. Uh, what we need to do is we need to grab our PHP code block to grab our session start and our uh, user variables and just paste that right into the activate page and down here we're just going to create a PHP code block so our code block is just going to be really simple um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get our username from the URL so if we take a look at our URL setup we have activate.php question mark user equals and then our get user or our username and then the code equals code so to be able to get these these are called get variables right so we have to call the uh, dollar sign whoops dollar sign underscore get function or not function uh, array there we go the get uh, dollar sign underscore get array and then our value so in this case uh, user, which will get our username, and then we need code to get our code. Pretty simple. So, get code, code. So, we can go ahead and just echo these out just to make sure we're getting them properly. So, if I go to activate.php, you can see we just have this uh, our uh, hyphen there. If we go ahead and say user equals and then something random, you see we've gotten that and then we say code equals and then something random you can see we've gotten that as well so we're getting our basic setup there so we're getting our variables uh... the next thing we need to do is we need to actually display that form so i'm just going to go ahead and put that in a uh, form variable and we're going to create the form so our form is going to have an action of dollar sign or uh, yeah of a uh, dot slash so if we're working in the current directory and then activate dot php and then we want to have a method of post and the whole point of, of putting a, a method of post is so we won't have any of this information pass through the URL because um, we, we just don't want to because it looks kind of bad so we're gonna create a simple table as well and create a column or a row, sorry, and then we're going to create a column. Um, it's going to be two columns. Our first one is going to just say uh, username, and then you can put in your your username into a text box. So we're going to create our text box of input type equals text. We're going to give it a name of. Let's we'll go with user. And we're going to give it a value of our get user value right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this, paste it, and then change that to code. And our name will be code. And we need to use our get code. So if we go ahead and just refresh this page, you can see, oh, we're actually not displaying it. If we display it and now refresh, you can see we have our code and our username being displayed in our boxes here, which means everything's working. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to create our button. So we're going to create an input type of submit, a name of activate BTN, right there, and we're going to set a value of activate. All right, so now we need to actually check to see that our activate button has been actually pressed or clicked 
Um, and if it hasn't, then we just want to uh, just normally display the form. So we're going to create an if statement, and we're going to say dollar sign underscore post, and then activate button. So that's essentially saying if our activate button has been pressed or clicked, then we're going to do what we're going to run whatever code is in here. But if it hasn't, we're simply just going to display our form. All right. So after we've gotten our code, um, what we need to do is we need to get our username and our code from the um, from the boxes themselves. And you may be thinking, oh, why would we need to do that? Because we've already gotten it from the URL. Well, a person could, for whatever reason, in their activation email, their link doesn't work, and maybe they just copy and paste the information in. Uh, then we want to be able to get that instead. So, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, dollar sign get. Actually, I'm going to restructure this. So if we were to do this, we would get our post information here. So our post uh, user and post code. Um, but it wouldn't be updated in our form here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to paste it in and change it to an echo statement. Uh, and the reason for that is because we're going to set sort of a an error message, um, if you will, uh, that will be displayed if uh, if it's found. So error msg that'll work. In our if statement, we will simply set our error msg or error message, saying um, this. We won't set it to anything right here. So if we go ahead and just refresh this page, it's going to stay the exact same other than our button being added. Um, but say in here, we set it to clicked. If we click our button, it submits the form, and we have our message of click being displayed because we're simply just displaying that message. So it's just a little bit easier of a way to be able to um, display the form and set your, your error messages and everything. So it's pretty handy. Um, so after we can go ahead and get rid of this, and now what we need to do is we need to get our post user, and I'm simply just going to rename it to get user. So get user equals dollar sign underscore post. So we're going to use our, po our post array, um, and the reason it's using post is because our method in our form is set to post. Uh, we need to get the user and the code. Now, a uh, nice little tip, if you're using Notepad++, you can go ahead and hit Control D on your keyboard, and that will duplicate the line or the selected text that you have. Um, yeah, it's pretty handy. Um, then we want to put in an if statement, and this if statement will allow us to check for our username and our code. So our if statement, we simply want to say get user. So if get user. Um, if this get user isn't found, so the username hasn't been entered, then we simply just change our error message to say something like, you must enter your username. All right, so then we want to also check for our code. So we'll just simply say get code, else error message equals, um, you must enter your code. Obviously, you can change this message to whatever you want to fit your needs, uh, but just for something simple right now, it works. Uh, now, we need to actually connect to our database, and we're just going to go ahead and grab our connect.php file, and we're going to go ahead and disconnect from the database. So, um, after we have connected to our database, what we need to do is we need to run a MySQL query to make sure that the username is found in the database so that um, that user has actually registered and then we need to make sure that um, their code is correct and if it is we can kind of just activate them so we're going to create a query so MySQL underscore query and our query is going to say select all from or select asterisk from or star, however you want to, whatever you want to call it. 
select all from users where username equals and get user. Now notice that uh, our get user is surrounded by single quotation marks and then we have our double quotation mark there to end, end our query. Don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.